In terms of safety and why airplanes are crashing today, more and more it's really a disconnect between what the person is perceiving, the pilot for example, and what's actually happening. So there's a difference between the actual aircraft state or their mental model, which is a subset of situational awareness, and what the airplane is actually doing or what's actually occurring in the real world. And trying to eliminate that is the key. So what the pilot needs, or any person needs, is valid feedback. You can't very well avoid you know, a yard full of holes in the yard if you're blindfolded. You need to have feedback of the world around you so you can make accurate decisions. The problem is that we're seeing accidents now that involve complex systems and multiple computer interactions that are much, much harder to identify in advance. And in these cases, everybody is actually trying to do the right thing. And it's actually much more concerning than just finding somebody who is maybe criminally negligent or doing something actually intentionally wrong. If everybody is doing their best, following the best engineering practices that they know, and we still have an accident, that is something that everyone should be concerned about. The issue doesn't just apply to aircraft, it actually applies to nuclear power plants, weapon systems, uh, anything that involves computer technology and mixing with humans. And this is going to be an ongoing issue. I think we're going to see more and more of it. And there is really no escape without utilizing better methods to analyze systems that actually look at the entire system and don't try to look at individual components or failures. There's a few areas that we still need to look at in terms of safety and one of the big way ones is the computer interactions and the way they are interacting with the human in the loop. And the way to do that is using system theory and system theoretic methods that can capture those. The current methods are all quite old, really dating back to the time of the steam engine, and we haven't changed things much. We need to update. In addition to the problems with the computers, the other side is training. Right now, we're really not training pilots to handle the unusual or the very rare events. We spend a lot of time on the things that we think will be very likely to happen, which we should, but at the same time, the things that are less likely get missed. And unfortunately, that's where we're seeing a lot of the accidents in these corner cases that are rare. So the question is, is it still safe to fly? And I would say yes. I would not really hesitate at all to get on an airplane today or tomorrow. In fact, I'm going to be doing one and just getting on one just a few days as a passenger. And I don't really have a lot of concerns about it. The system still has a lot of safety and a lot of, lot of uh, redundancy in it. So yes, I think it's safe.